In this video, I'm going to start with a very simple model here called Boxman, who is basically just made of boxes. And I'm going to give him an armature, so basically like a skeleton made of bones. And then we'll continue on with it later on to basically make the bones so they move a little bit human-like and then animate it. So this is the first in a couple of videos. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go into one on the numpad just to get a nice head-on view of my box man. I've got my 3D cursor, left click right there, and I'm going to add the first bone in the armature. So we go to add, armature, single bone. Now these are objects, right? I'm still in object mode. It's called armature. And what I want to do here is I want to scale this first one just to make it a little bigger. So I hit S, and I'm just going to go up to here. That should be OK. We're just going ballpark here, by the way. And so there's my body bone. Now to name this body bone here, I can actually just go over here to the data tab. It's called armature. Okay, I'm going to leave that called armature. I can go to the bone tab, and this bone, I can give it a name. And I'm just going to call this body, because it's the main body bone. Okay, and hit enter. Now what I want to do is I want to get out of object mode. I don't want to create more armatures. What I want to do is I want to build off of this one so it's like a chain, like a connected skeleton. So I'm going to hit tab and go into edit mode. And now that I'm in edit mode, I'm basically going to select the tip there and I'm going to E to extrude. And just sort of watch what I'm doing. When I got right click the tip, I should say the head, there's the main part and the tail. I'm going to take the tail there, extrude. That's like a collarbone. I'm going to make it go to about there. And then I'm going to E to extrude again. There's an upper arm bone, E to extrude again. And then I have my lower arm bone. I'm going to go back to the tail there and E to extrude. My other collar bone out to about there. E to extrude, another upper arm bone. And E to extrude again. And there we go. Now, I'm not doing the hands and the fingers. There's a lot of bones in there. I'm not going to do the legs, you know, the hips and the legs here, okay, because it's sort of the same. But I will go E, and I will create like a one-part neck here. That's where he can bend at the neck, and E to extrude. This one's just for his head. You'll see how this works a little later. And there I go. Now, I'm going to fast forward the video because I'm going to name all these parts. And just to see uh, my naming, I'm going to call this the collarbone. If you're on the bone tab... I can name this collarbone dot r. And this is a naming convention. Dot r for right, it's on the right side here. I know you may argue, well, if you turn the person, but it's on the right side when I'm looking at it. Then I go to this bone here. I'm going to call this arm upper dot right. And then I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to call it arm lower dot right. Anyways, you keep going to the left side. I'll do the neck here. I'll call this uh, neck, and I'll call this bone head. It's nice to have them named uh, for different reasons later on. You should always name your piece as you go. Don't let them sit there being named like bone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It'll get confusing later on. Anyways, this here is the armature. Now what I'm going to do is I would save your file at this point just so you have this nice and saved, so in case later on you mess it up, you can go back. Once you have your armature set up, you're going to see mine is sort of sticking out. So what I can do here is I can just go to object mode. If you encounter that problem, you can just put it inside the body. Okay, and remember, we're not going for perfection here, but at least get it so it's sort of inside Boxman. And now you realize it's really hard to see. So what you can do is with the armature still selected, right, you can see up here in your Inspector here, we got armature still selected. You can go to the tab here, the data tab for the armature, which looks like a little skeleton person. And you can actually scroll down a bit. And you can see you have a couple of options here. X-ray is a really useful one. So it lets you see them. We can go names. And I'm going to check off axes. Because what I'm going to do later on, and it's hard to see the axes here, but I'll just zoom in a bit. But if you turn the axes on and off, I don't know why I'm not actually seeing them f straight out. Oh, sorry, we only see those in edit mode. So there you go. 
there are the axes. It's showing you the X, Y, and Z of the bones. The bones work a little different than uh, the normal world. The normal world has X and Y being green. With bones, the bone has its own axis, and the Y axis of a bone always sticks straight out. So it's down the length of the bone. So later on, we're going to need this because I'm going to control how these bend at the joints. So just to keep in mind, that's the data tab of the armature. You can check on x-ray and axes. Okay, that's it for this video. Go name your other parts and come back. And in the next video, we're going to see how to control the motion of these bones.